In this video, we're going to be talking about how to create our very own AI language model using GPT-4 and Node.js. First, what is an AI language model? AI language models are machine learning models that can understand and generate human-like text. They can also do tasks like translation, summarization, and they can even write code. GPT-4 is one example of this. GPT stands for Generative Pre- trained transformer for. It is a powerful language model developed by OpenAI. It is the successor of ChatGPT 3.5. It's faster, more accurate. It can do more. And now with plugins, it even has access to the internet. So it's no longer bound by the 2021 year information limit. Before we create our own AI language model using GPT-4, let's briefly learn how GPT works conceptually. GPT-4 works using a concept called transformers. Transformers are a type of neural network architecture that can handle complex language patterns, making them great for natural language processing. GPT-4 is pre-trained on a massive amount of text data, which allows it to generate text that almost sounds human-like. If you've ever tried out GPT-4, it would be hard to distinguish between GPT-4 and an actual human. Now that you have a basic understanding of GPT-4, GPT-4, let's see how we can create our own language model powered by it. The first thing you'll need is access to GPT-4's API. I'll put this link in the description below. For now, you have to sign up for a waitlist. If you go to openai.com slash waitlist slash GPT-4 dash API, you can fill in this form to join the waitlist. And it tells you how you can have a better chance at gaining access to the API in the availability section. It says we're prioritizing API access to developers that contribute exceptional model evaluations to learn how they can improve the model. Once you've joined the waitlist, they'll eventually send you an API key that can then be used to create your own language model powered by GPT-4. If you don't have an API key yet, no worries. You can still follow along with the video. It'll still make sense. And once OpenAI does send you the API key, you can just copy and paste it into this code. Before you use the key, you'll want to make sure to save it in a .env file so it's secure. You can create something called openai underscore api underscore key and then put your key value there. Next in your terminal, you'll want to say npm install openai. In your index file, you can say const openai equals require openai. And then you can go ahead and bring in your .env file require dot env. Next, we'll need to load our API key. You can say dot env dot config. And under that, you can say open AI dot API key equals process dot env. And whatever you named your open AI API key in your dot env file, you can paste that there. Now we're ready to create our first function to generate text using GPT-4. In an actual Node.js server, you'll want to create your endpoints and in the end you'll have some sort of function with a request and a response and then within that endpoint we can go ahead and create our gpt4 generative text function so we'll say async function generate text this takes in two parameters the first one is the prompt which is like what the user types into the search bar or the chat bar and you can have a max tokens amount to limit the amount of words you're willing to process. So you could say 50. This is a good idea because if you're going to use GPT-4's API, they charge by the token. Each character is worth a certain amount of tokens. So the more tokens you process, the more characters you process, the more expensive this search will be. And so you want to limit the number of tokens to save you money. Within this function, you can create a const called response. Say await. It's important to make sure this is an async function because we do need to use await. Say openai.completion. This is a built-in function within openai.create. The first key value is engine, and I'll say pick a GPT-4 engine. There are different GPT-4 engines, which you can learn more about that later, but there's one called text DaVinci 002. We'll use that one in this example. The next key value is prompt. 
This is where we take in this prompt. Next is max tokens. Again, this will limit the number of tokens you're willing to process. Then there's something called in. You'll want to say one for that. There's something called stop. You'll want to say null for that. And finally, there's something called temperature, which you'll want to say 0.5 for that. And once you gain access to OpenAI API, it explains what all these mean in greater depth. And then finally, within this generative text function, you can say return response dot choices, the zero index text dot trim. And this will return a response in a readable way. And now to see a response, you can create your own prompt. And this should be a string. So this is my prompt. And then you can use this function generate text, passing in the parameter of prompt. And I'll go ahead and change this prompt to an actual question. What year do you think humans will be living on Mars? Something like that. And so this would be the prompt that gets sent into your new function. Say dot then within here, pass in your function again, generate text so that you can get the response, put an arrow function, and then you can just console log this console log generated text. And I meant to add a D there. And that's it. Once you get your API key from OpenAI and pass that into this function, you'll receive a response in your console log like you would on chat.openai.com in your console log. And within these generate text functions is where you can create your own language model. You can customize it to suit your needs specifically. Maybe you have a different maximum tokens amount, maybe based on the responses given to you by OpenAI, you want to update it in some way. And that is how you can create your own language model using GPT and Node.js. Do you have any ideas on how we could create our own unique language models? Put your ideas in the comments below. Like the video if you'd like to see more videos like this. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.